see? You see what is happening in the north? Alright, so I beg, make I come on myself from this wala where be as if they won't put me inside. Yes, make I quickly address this. Now they are saying that I am one of the organizers of the protests. Why Ibi say every protest in Nigeria they be like war drum? Because as it be so, the protest is getting out of hand, and so many people don't they react over the matter. And as Regina is not giving up on addressing Nigeria instead of Ogas and Madam them. And uh, Nollywood actress uh, Regina Daniels don't come out now with her full chest again to tell Nigerians the need to stop the protest already. So after this Regina Daniels video, it be like say our very own guy will be very dark man is already defending himself as people don't they accuse him say he is one of the organizers of the protest. You see? You see what is happening in the north? Hoisting the Russian flag. Is that what we want? Mind you, whatever happens in the north can get to you. I preached against violence and ignorant Nigerians said, oh, it's because I'm privileged, it's because I'm opportune. Yes, the fact remains that I am privileged and opportuned. But that doesn't stop me from understanding that my nannies needs to be paid extra. Or stop me from understanding that my gate man or my cooks needs to be well catered for because of insecurity and extra bills to be paid in Nigeria. The point remains that Nigeria cannot be changed in a day. And not by one man. I am not speaking for the government. Neither am I speaking for you people to love me because I don't need it. I am just stating the obvious facts. And that's the truth. The earlier we all realize that this protest is turning to something else, the better for us all. And that's it. Alright, so I beg, make I come on myself from this wala where be as if they won't put me inside. Yes, make I quickly address this. Now they are saying that I am one of the organizers of the protest. Like that, like that, wala don't they come. And as you can see, see a screenshot, somebody forwarded it to me. And if you look up of the screenshot, you see forwarded many times. That means they don't forward this thing around. Now look at the caption that came with it. This is one of the organizers of the protest now regretting and wants to end it. If you don't want regret tomorrow, stop this nonsense protest. Do not be stupid again to support this protest if you love yourself and Nigeria. This is the video I made where I said people should not protest again that it has gotten out of control. Do you understand? Now, first things first, I want to say this. I am not part of any organization anywhere. I came out to protest because I am also feeling the pain of the bad economy like every other Nigerian. And by the grace of God, I have the platform and I can lend my voice. Do you understand? That is why I came out. Now, they are saying they don't pay very dark man. Do you understand? That we were paid to go and carry out those, to go and protest and all that. Nobody paid me one error. And if the government have proof or whoever is trying to put me inside this thing have proof, they should bring it. Do you understand? And secondly, the only reason why I say nobody should protest again was because it actually got out of hand. Do you understand? So because I came out to say people should not protest, it has gotten out of hand. You now say now I be one of the organizers. We organize protests. What are you people even saying? I lent my voice like a concerned and a patriotic Nigerian. Things is going bad. People are suffering. I have the platform. Shall I not go talk with them? Eh? Shall I not go talk with them? I spoke with it and that was it. Now they say he has been paid, they paid them, they sponsor them. Please, I beg. If not this one, I want to go carry me. Mona bring proof. Mona bring proof. People should not associate my name with anything like that. And if you go back to what happened in the protest, my own record is there. The first day of the protest, I did not go number one because I thought that the protest was not going to happen. Because for crying out loud, why would the people announce date of protest? Do you understand? For them to announce the date, I felt like, okay, the government would have already put measures to, to do what they have to do in order for the protest not to work. Now, another thing I considered was, ah, very dark man, a lot of people don't target you. You go stay for house stress, you go observe what they happen. Do you understand? And I stayed home. The second day, I saw that, okay, yes, if I say, close, don't clear, make I go, go support. I went there to go and support. They started, they, they were blocking the road of the stadium. I collected mic. God will save me, we say, somebody will record and post them for TikTok. Because I didn't have that. I collected mic and I told them, I said, police are not your enemy. Watch itself. What is that? You can't see the police are the enemy. You people know, they have to take orders. 
you understand? Let me say that same they have the country did. But they don't get choice. You understand? They have to do it, right? So don't feel as if yes. Don't call people's right and force them to cause problem on you or throw chargers and all that. So please move and leave the road. Let people pass. Don't block their own rights. Do you understand? And by governance, yes. And we will not go home until Tinubu address the country. Let him address the people, even though he does not want to do anything. Only for a price. If it is a fair price now, the problem of the country will reduce by 50%. Now, I say police are not your enemy, now the people that they collect directives, Mona leave the road, make people pass. Do you understand? I say where your rights stop, now another person's rights continue. They also have rights to movement. Do you understand? I said all these things and I beg them leave the road. When I see say they no one come off on road, I leave the protest and I go my house. Because it wasn't peaceful enough for me. Then this same me again coming online to see say that they fly Russian flag, that they burn things, since they scatter, and I can't they fear, say this safe enter religious crisis. Won't I talk? I have the platform for crying out loud. Won't I talk and say, I beg, Mona, wait first. It don't they get out of control. Because I say it's gotten out of control now, and I say I'll be one of the organizers. When? I have never sat down in a meeting before to tell anybody that let's go like this through protest. Let's do it. Never. I am a concerned Nigeria that is suffering as well. I'm on before a price. So all these things will be skyrocketing and nobody will talk. That's number one. Number two, again, this is a very important one. Before this protest was hijacked by these looters, by these uh, 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 criminals, by these hoodlums and rascals, it has already been hijacked by the government. It has already been hijacked by the government. How do you choose to interpret it? Interpret it. But that's already been hijacked by them, before these other people. There were a lot of measures that were done that soon. Do you understand? So, me where don't see something, don't want cause problem for my own country. I don't go talk against them. So, because I talk against them now, and I don't start to push different narrative. Do you understand? Let me just tell you people the truth. Tomorrow, if they bring another cause for Nigeria, for Nigeria to be better, you know, to cry to the government, I will still come out and do it. The only reason why I stopped it is because the thing don't come up from out of hand and they are beginning to become violent. How do they go from, we want a uh, fair price, we want you to amend this town to a uh, Russian flag and all that. I am a sane person. I beg, Mona, no carry me tricky side of these kind of things. I don't follow anybody organize anything. I beg, whether this one, I don't know whether our government or our people, whoever is pushing this narrative, don't associate me with anything organizers. Don't show me anything organizers. And this is another reason why I said they should go and get leaders so that leaders will control each state of their protest. But that time, even the people, when they talk, where would they try? When they try to say, okay, Mona organizing and I said, they can't cost me. They say, I want, I work for government, make government carry this thing so that government will pick the leader. <laughs> and people not talk again. What's it called, Simon? Now it don't come out, out of control everywhere. Do you understand? Everywhere. So I beg, whoever is doing this thing, whether government or not, because the yes now say people don't they watch list of government and all that. Mona no carry me play. Mona no even carry me near this on a team. I am a one man mopo. I am working on my own and I am associating everything I do is by myself. I know they don't with anybody. Eh, I don't have an alliance to anybody. Thank you very much and don't play. Peace and love. Talk. Regina Daniels, the country favor you where when I you end up with Neds. I want your answer. We favor you well when you go marry Ned. Because now you they come outside the form wife of senator to address the to address the youth. You be first wife, I be second wife, I be third wife. Like which number you be for you to they come, they form say you want to address. You'll leave that that duty for first wife to, to do not be you. Except now your followers when be say you want to address and every the course when the followers ever give I don't say you know expect them. The fact that they tell you say you make the right decision, no me say we won't make that same decision. You don't understand. People they want to get pride and ego when one marry as first wife and will enjoy their husband, get right over their husband. So the fact say you marry, <clears throat> man, no talk. No me say you can't carry phone the address. Who you the address? Not try am again, no, not try am again. Anything when concern Nigeria, you not talk put again. You not get that right to talk put. You there, yeah? smallly. Come the address your the address who be your age, may to be your playmate. I tell you say the protest now play with the play. Sit down, tie, tie, tie one kind nonsense inside the form. Say you the address. Oh, you don't mash up because you marry a pa. Oh, try am more. Good day, everyone. It is of the national protest in Nigeria. 
everyone is frustrated nationwide with justified reasons and something needs to be done to ease the hearts of the people to avoid further loss of lives and properties nigeria is not a one man's land hence it is not a one man's problem nigeria can only be fixed by the collective effort of everyone in the government ranging from the president the governors the senators the House of Reps members, the House of Assembly members, down to local government chairmen and councillors. What happens when the federal government understands the plight of the people and the state or local government does not? Or vice versa, the job still remains undone, leaving thousands hungry, suffering and jobless. The hike in prices of food, water, electricity, transportation, security and communication is alarming. There is hunger in the land. Nigeria cannot be fixed by having half bad eggs and half good eggs. All the lawmakers need to be in sync with the people's plight to fix Nigeria. Only then can what is rightfully allocated to the grassroots get to them. This should be a government for the people, not against them. And our armed forces, please refrain from using excessive force on the people. As everyone has the right to air their voices and demand for transparency, accountability and participation to avoid further loss of lives and properties by our own people. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're seeing this video and a happy new month to everyone. Today is August 1st, which is the one of the national protests in Nigeria. We all know that the masses are suffering. We all know that the masses want a better way of living. Hence the protest. And there is nothing wrong in protesting. Absolutely nothing wrong in wanting a change or a better way of living. There is nothing wrong in airing your voices. But there is everything wrong in violence. Once violence gets involved, it defeats the whole purpose of the protest. So please, I urge everyone to try and make this protest as peaceful as possible so that the voice of the masses will be heard and actions will be taken on it and everyone will return to their homes in one piece. We have seen series of violent protests. We know how it all went. All we can hope and pray for is that this protest goes differently and still your voices will be heard and actions will be taken on it. Once again, this is a call for a peaceful protest. Thank you. Feel free to like, share, and comment your mind on top every of our stories. And most important, make you hit the subscribe button today for more to read.